but teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Of course, makes sense. We've all heard about it, right? But what happens when a child grows up in an environment when fishing is not even a possibility? What happens when millions of youth are going to inner city schools that are just 10 minutes from downtown and they can see the skyline from the window and it might as well just be a postcard because that is not their world. So they think. So they think is not their world. And so they go through these schools and these environments thinking from their families that success in the workplace means getting a minimum wage job and holding on to that job for more than just a few paychecks. And so we're surprised that dropout is what it is in our schools. And so I looked at this and I wondered, you know, if these students just had the opportunity to feel what it is to be a successful professional during high school, before they make the critical decision that's going to impact the rest of their life, which is what to do after high school, if they only felt like a professional, what difference would that make? But wait a minute, they would have to provide value, value to a corporation. Because only by providing value and by the corporation demanding a lot of performance from them, just like they do of anybody else, then the student would grow. And wait a minute, if they can provide value, well, then we ought to be able to charge for those services, right? Companies should be able to pay for them. And, and if we created an organization that did exactly this, the organization could become self-sustained. And so that was my idea in 2002, and I quit my corporate job, and I started what is now Genesis Works. And so the first couple of years were a little bit hard, as you would expect, but then afterwards, you know, we started to get the successes, and guess what? We found out it works. It works. And so a couple of years ago, we were seeing our students, and 95% of them were actually going to college. And 75% of them, we found out, actually are succeeding in college, because our belief is that once you worked in the corporate headquarters of a major corporation, you can't go back to flipping burgers. And so we were in the staff and we were high-fiving and, and patting ourselves on the back. And, uh, and, and, and then I started thinking, I said, well, wait a minute, what impact are we really making? Are we really making a difference here? And, and, and I thought about it and I said, well, we're making a difference for these many students, but, but what about the rest? What the, so, 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 so there's something wrong with this. So, so I sat with my staff and I said, listen, listen, this is the, the, we're, we're going the wrong way here. We have got to engage with the schools as our partners and we have got to engage with the business community at large and we have got to engage with nonprofit organizations that are doing a great work and, and all together we have got to work with schools to institute an environment where every single child goes through this educational system knowing that they can be a professional and that there's a much better life waiting for them. And we have got to teach the schools our secret sauce, our secret recipe, you know, and teach them how we do communication skills and teach them how to do professional, professional skills. And we should train every career and technology teacher to be just like us. And then one of my directors turned to me and said, whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute, Rafael. Because if we do that and we do it well, the sheer size of the district is such that they'll crush us. They'll put us out of business. And so I looked at her and I said, if that happens, when that happens, mission accomplished. <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> so I see a lot of venture capital guys in the room. <laughs> and you guys are always thinking and looking for business plans and uh, and you look for one thing in a business plan and you say, what's the exit strategy? 
And I submit to you, my social entrepreneurs, that our exit strategy ought to be to cease to exist because our mission was accomplished. Thank you.